Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I am doing another Let's Get Creative Today video. This is what um, I've been working on. I have been making these little circle kind of ephemera embellished coasters that I made these two and have a video on it. And I got the coasters from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, which is Doreen. I have been a member of her Ooh La La Crystal and Pearl Kit Club. And so I'm taking some of the elements that she sends in her club, her kits, and uh, showing you how I'm taking them and making something out of them. So I've already used a lot of the stuff that she sent in kits in other projects. But these here are just something that I decided to make up. I am going to use one of these ring binder, uh, metal binders here, and going to put all these together, kind of make like a, a flip, uh, circle book, um, just something that you could either use in, in individual projects or put them together and make a little booklet out of it. So I'm not decided exactly what I'm gonna do with it after I'm finished, but. Anyway, these two are the ones that I just recently finished, and you can see where I have taken and, and fixed both sides of them up. So um, they're gonna have a hole right here, which I already got the hole in there. And this one here really turned out super cute too. And some of the elements on here um, were from um, Doreen's kits, and some of them are from my kits, my stuff that I have, my stash. So here, this is kind of the idea on this one I'm gonna do up and then this one here. So my idea is to put a pretty vintage lady picture on one side and then on the other, I'm just kind of doing it up uh, with different elements. So here is an idea here. This is something I got from Doreen too. So anyway, let's get started on this. So this one here I'm gonna push to the side and this one here I'm gonna work on. So. There is, this is just some different things that I have put together to kind of get, give me an idea, which is kind of what I do. And um, this is just a piece of curtain that I have cut, and cut off and I think I'm gonna put it on here. I wanted to show you the other side of this though. I'd already kind of did a little collaging on this one, uh, what I did with the other ones too. And this side, all I'm gonna do with it is just kind of, uh, at the edges so this project is so much fun I love doing stuff like this so I'm, I'm having a really good time doing it and can't wait to see the finished product so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna glue this down on here and I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac glue so if I can get my glue to come out this Fabri-Tac works really well on different things, but you can definitely use uh, some other kind of glue. I think everybody has their own preference of kind of glues that they like to use. It took me a while to find the stuff that I liked, so I'm going to just take and put that on there, and I'm not going to worry uh, about the where the hole is too much, because I can find that later. And also, um, just give me an idea of what the top is. That's the reason why I went ahead and did that. So I have this really pretty dually here that I'm going to uh, cut out uh, and I'm gonna stick it right here on the side. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut around this because I don't wanna accidentally get off my, my uh, design here, what I'm doing, so I have to redo it. And all the stuff I can use in another project, anything I cut off. So I usually try to save my stuff. And these right here, these are um, some stuff that I got from Tuesday morning. They're Bow Bunny and they're little brads and stuff. And these are really neat if you see any to use these in your projects. See their brads on the back. And I think you can get these for like nearly about $3, $2.97, something like that. They're fun little things to use. All right, now I've got to find my hole again. I don't know where it went. It's hiding. Okay. 
Where are you? There it is. I see it. Okay. Let me punch that through so I don't have to be searching for this hole. Which, um, I could have done this after I got through with my project, but I was kind of playing around with it, trying to decide what I was going to do, and so that's why I went ahead and punched it beforehand. Alright, so I'm going to let this hang over a little bit. Uh, because I want it to uh, kind of similar to the ones that I've already done and I'm having a lot of pretty um, laces and appliques and stuff kind of hanging over the edges which I like that look so there we go this is actually a uh, I rolled this up this is stretchy uh, material knit material and I made it like a little uh, rosette out of it so I've had this for a while so I'm gonna get to finally use it and this is some eyelash trim that I have got this at um, Hobby Lobby it's kind of a peachy blush color I love eyelash trim because I think it just really adds a lot to the project so I'm going to put some of this down on here and I did put a, a little extra the normal um, but I kind of want it a lot on there so it really shows up. And uh, I said it this in my last um, video I did, but in case you didn't watch it, which I will link that video up to this one, um, I am going to, um, Doreen has picked me to be a des guest design um, team member of her next projects with um, kits with uh, pearls, what is it called? Um, Crystals and Pearl Kit Club that she has. And if you're interested in that, being a part of her, her club, or you know, she's got a Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, um, I'll put it down at the bottom, you know, her, her YouTube channel or um, just to kind of visit with her and you know she has she's on Facebook she does a lot of kits she's been doing them for numerous of years I mean I got one of her kits probably four or five years ago and um, so she is really a talented lady and her kits are just beautiful and she puts a lot of time and effort into them and putting them together and she's just a real sweetheart so if you haven't checked her out then you need to also um, one of the ladies that she um, does a lot of projects with and is a design team with her is um, I meant to put this brad on here first this is a cute little brad that I'm going to use right here and I meant to put that on there first so let me see if I can do that right quick for my center and then I'll put it back down again that's just a little rosette that I had um, and I thought would look pretty for a center piece there is Jennifer um, she's a trace of sparkle on YouTube and she does a lot of um, Doreen's she's one of her main design team uh, ladies and they do a lot of projects together a lot of spending time together working on things so uh, check her out she's uh, if you're not if you don't know who she is then um, like I said check her out because she is an excellent crafter oh my goodness she's so creative I love to watch her stuff okay I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet but here's another one of those pretty brads and this one has a little oh bees on there I just noticed that because this one here had a few bees on it so See there is a bee. This is so cute. I love that. So rad. I'm gonna Okay. I see how easy that was to do. Just cut that off. And I'm hoping this is gonna stick down with this fabric tag. What is my problem? I am making a lot of racket for no reason. Just that looks 
so pretty. Love this. So, that turned out really cute. See how easy that was? Oh my goodness, I just loved it. And now what I've got to do is put something down here at the bottom to kind of add to it. Um, I have several different things. I have this which is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? This beautiful leaves and lace and oh, just yummy stuff. So I thought about putting that on there. Let me see. Still stick that under there and just kind of let it hang off. not liking that. That's a little too much. So let's cut off this one leaf. And then, and these here um, are just, like I said, they're, I think they're coasters. I might be totally wrong, but um, you can find these a lot of times uh, around the different, um, all throughout the year. I mean, you find them on sale sometimes, and they're really neat little things. I've used them in other projects, but um, they're really good. You can make a pocket out of them. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with these. So if you see some and they're on sale, they look funny looking, like the colors aren't that great. And these are just the cardboard ones, okay? Um, not the ones that are made out of the ceramic stone. But anyway, you can take and, um, you know, paint them and use them. So it's kind of like thinking outside of the box. All right, so... I want to kind of put something dangling down at the bottom here, but I think what I'm going to do is work on this side next, and I can't decide if I want to use this lady or this lady. So, let's see. I have this too that I thought was really pretty. But I didn't know if I want to use that yet. So what I think I'm going to do is use her because she's the one that really is kind of jumping out at me. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put with her. Hmm. I need something. So let me look in my stash over here. And these are just little things that um, Doreen has sent to. I'm trying to use some stuff that she sent in her kits. Little extra pieces. And this is something that I made up a while back. Um, I thought about using on here too. So mm, that might look really good. It's gonna look pretty with that, doesn't it? I kinda like that look. But I need an applique or something down here below. I thought this was really pretty too. But the color. I don't I think I'm gonna use that on this one because the color's a little off. This is really pretty too. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this out here. Get some of that white off of there. Maybe I can do this without making too much noise. ahead and glue this down because I think that's kind of what I want to do with it. I hope that's what I'm going to want to do with it. Sometimes I ended up, ended up cutting 
these down a little bit. But this one here, I think I'll, let's see. I wanna try to make sure I'm sticking with the right way. Let's pull this one over a little bit this way. All right, and then I'm gonna take and put this here. I don't really know which side is the right side on this. I think it's this, this one. Let's see here. Put this first. Let's put this down first. And I'm actually going to cut some of that off because I'm scared that's going to kind of show through. Need all that on there. There we go. See how that's just kind of peeking through there? Isn't that pretty? I like that. I like the muted tones to this picture. So sometimes when I start a project, I have an idea what I'm going to do, and it totally doesn't even go that way. I totally start doing something, nothing that I even plan to do. But that's part of crafting. You. You've got to sometimes change change because you know you put something in there and then you know, it's not just what you really wanted after afterwards. So, and you change your mind with it. I wanted to show you this little beautiful cameo thing that. Pretty sure I got from one of Doreen's kids, but now I can't find it. Oh, where are you? There you are. I think Doreen sent me this. But I think this is so pretty. Can you see that? Love cameos. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to dangle this off of there uh, using one of those ball class uh, pins little clips here of these things. I don't really know what you call them. Uh, okay. So, I need something for the bottom of this. And I have this, but that's just too much. Too much going on there. So, I'm going to have to add something down here. And I'm, I know I keep going back to this. This is some really pretty uh, lace that I picked up at a, a resale shop, but I kind of want it to be more like that, you know, gathered. So let me lift some of this up and I'm gonna stick this down there. It's one thing I like about Fabri-Tac is that you can work with it a little bit. It kind of allows you a little bit of time to pick something up and, and redo and that's always positive because if you're like me you change your mind okay that I don't know about that there we go maybe I want that to go on top of there Let's do that. Let's put that on top of there. Where's my little spatula? There. That looks good. I'm trying to stay in frame. Uh, I had this great idea to put washi tape down so I could stay in frame, but um, Needless to say, my washi tape didn't stick, so that didn't work too good. Okay, this is, I'm going to pull this over a little bit. I have to say, the only negative about using using fabri 
Tac is, it does get all over your hands. Very, very much all over your hands. So you have to kind of deal with that. And it loves to stick to these my gel dip nails, or not gel, but dip nails. It sticks to them, so I'm always trying to get it off of there. <laughs> All right, so there. I'm liking that a little bit better now. Trying to pull that up a little bit to kind of give her a little lace. Like she's got a ruffle going on there. All right. I'm trying to make it to where, okay, that looks much better, much better. Okay, there we go. So that one, I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to add this to there and maybe some other little element. So, oh, I was gonna put this on there, wasn't I? That was my idea. And that, and then I'm gonna take something and make like a little like she's, she's got like a little letter inside there. So that was my idea on that. Um, you can take just regular paper, you know, like say you've got this from a book or something, and actually stick it in there, It's it works. Or you can stamp something on a piece of paper, and that works too. Just stick that in there, and that looks like a little letter sticking up. And this is just a little envelope that I had um, cut out and used. Put that kind of down there. And then I'm going to take this and this and put that, that on my little pin here. And then just kind of dangle it, I think, at the bottom. And I might end up adding, adding something else to this. But for time's sake, I'm just going to do that. So there we go. Let's redo this. This is not showing up. Let's put it over here not stable enough on that particular lace is kind of flimsy so I'm gonna stick it over here there we go okay oh my goodness I don't know if y'all heard that or not but I have a big window in my craft room and I have birds all the time hitting the window see how Pretty that is. I love the way that turned out. Just gorgeous. And see, adding that at the bottom. Now look, that even that made this look good. So that's my idea. And I may end up adding something right here on this side. But for now, this is good. So I still have one more to do. But because I'm already over 20 minutes in my video, I'm going to do this one separately. Um, because I don't like my videos to be real long. Um, I don't really like to watch long videos, so I try to keep them short. That way people will, will watch them. So I'm going to do this one up too, and um, that'll be my next video. So y'all follow along with me. I thank y'all so much for um, coming along with me on this Let's Be Creative today. And I'll show you... Um, at the end, I always kind of show you the end result. So, stay tuned.